you actually really treasured what you have when you were at your lower point when you didn't want to be at the school so why are you looking for what you already have now that you're at your higher point right what's changed so it's like oh i don't know how to just hold on to the things that i have because i think as i move up now i'm supposed to move up in other areas and sometimes it's not always that way right sometimes you're supposed to you are already happy so why are you looking for new happy if you're in the middle of being happy so a hundred percent in relationships mm -hmm. and i and i've definitely learned you know i you go on bumble or you go on hinge and everyone says what's the most important part in a relationship and everyone says communication well i agree however yeah i think it falls under effort okay. i think effort to me, and I've learned this the hard way, because mm -hmm. with Lily, my ex-girlfriend that I was with for five years, I didn't put in the effort that I should have. And so every day, every time mm -hmm. that I meet a new woman and I think there's potential there, I work on showing that effort. Now, that's the rare example. Mm -hmm. A lot of the other times, learning from failure, I just dwell I, I ruminate on the failure mm. and I don't know I'm not good at finding a way to necessarily learn from it in relationships I have learned yeah so I asked this question because like I'm a really good fuck up <laughs> <laughs> right and when I say that I mean like in a lot of my relationships I could I could pinpoint the moment that the relationship was over and mm -hmm. most of my relationships, right? But there's always a correlation of I stopped working. But what's important isn't always whether you're working or not. What's important is how are you applying that work in the relationship that you're in and why do you stop the quality of work? Because sometimes people don't want you to work too hard just when you do the thing that you say you're going to do or the thing that they're looking forward to, it really comes down to your quality of work and how impactful that is. Mm -hmm. And there's like different ways to create anticipation to the impact of you delivering on your relationship. Right. So like for the first relationship I had, well, not first relationship I had, I'd say this was like my third or fourth relationship in college. I remember getting very cozy in that relationship and thinking, I'm the man. I got it together football-wise. Had 55 tackles that year. Going back and forth between Philly and D.C. Half my tackles were wide receivers as a defensive tackle. Damn. And half of those tackles were usually 15 to 20 yards up the field. So that means I was not only moving weight in terms of being strong, but I was really covering field. And I started looking around at what I wasn't doing because the school that I went to, I didn't really mess with anybody there sexual-wise or anything else. So I always, like did stuff with people outside of it. And I was like, oh, I need to start exploring other options. And it's like, well, why? You, you're you happy in what you have. You, you actually really treasured what you have when you were at your lower point, when you didn't want to be at the school. So why are you looking for what you already have now that you're at your higher point? Right. What's changed? So it's like, oh, I don't know how to just hold on to the things that I have because I think as I move up, now I'm supposed to move up in other areas and sometimes it's not always that way. Right. Sometimes you're supposed to, you are already happy, so why are you looking for new happy if you're in the middle of being happy? I had a guy once tell me, particularly when it comes to relationships, and this spoke to me, he goes, don't leave fun to find fun. If you're, if you are, mm -hmm. You know, and so it's like I, I take that into account. And when I find a woman that I'm excited about and I'll continue to date her, you know, I, I give that that opportunity because that's how I would want to be treated too. And, you know, I was talking to a friend the other day about the difference between men and women, women when it comes to relationships. And it was this Instagram like woman who was just like men start from zero and then have women it's almost like guilty until proven innocent yeah. you know and then women start from 100 and i always 
I wrote her back and I said, it's interesting because I'm the opposite. Mm -hmm. I start from 100. I go into it excited, thinking like, taking it as far as thinking this could be my person, mm -hmm. you know? And it backfires a lot. And then you see things in someone and I don't necessarily write someone off because of it. It could be a bad day. It could be, she could be nervous. She could be any of these things. It's not fair to do yeah. that. But I start and go into those things I clearly don't know what it takes to be at 41 years old to make the relationship work perfectly, but I damn sure know how to make it not work and not putting in that effort Yeah, is, you know, and it's like, doesn't mean I'm overbearing. It just means that, you know, and, and for the right woman that works, that's worked out well. I've had a few good relationships since then that mm -hmm. fell apart for one reason or another, Yeah, but putting in that effort is is what I learned. So, for the second relationship after that last one that I talked about, what made it not work was I stopped being a man of my word. 